What is going on, my fellow Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venuses? Shout out to you, number one original, the best of the best of the Zodiac, you know, Skull. Anyway, welcome to the channel if you're new here, but this is Aries reading for your current situation. So here's a disclaimer. If you're not experiencing any issues with your current person, this video ain't for you, so don't even watch it. Unless you're bored, go ahead. But let's dive into this. Hopefully y'all doing great. It is a wild time, but it is a beautiful time to shine. Indeed it is. Let's see what we got, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What is going on with your current situation? Hello. Ooh, the Knight of Pentacles. It's going down. Ooh, the Knight of Pentacles in the Devil's card. Interesting. Is it, let me ask you this, all right? If there's anyone being a little childish or some bullshit, you know what I'm saying? Or if y'all just having a lot of, a lot, a lot of passion and beautiful, hot, intense, deep sex, but make sure you, you're not falling into a loop. But I don't think you are because you got the magician right after. So you're definitely trying to bring something more back of being that spark and that fire and the passion, the drive into the love relationship itself, but also expanding that individually, but together and creating something of substance. And that's very potent and beautiful of that magician energy. And I feel like you guys are going to have the, the fuel, the fire to really move forward with it. You know, if, especially if you feel like you have lost the spark a little bit. I know it's been a very difficult time that we're all in coming into the Sagittarius season with Neptune being direct today. Well, tomorrow when you're seeing this, uh, which is today. But it's a very interesting time to be alive. But you do have the Ten of Pentacles at the bottom. So definitely some successful opportunities of abundance and that nurturing element, as you see with the beautiful dogs right here, keeping it company, but having that pinnacle energy of really harvesting the beautiful rewards. And it's right after that magician. And wow, this card just flipped out from the top. And I was like, oh, hello. So you're definitely, you guys both know you what you stand for, what you bring to the table. You're not tripping. You're pretty much understanding on how to navigate through these times. All right. And you're not tripping, you're not, if you are tripping, remind yourself of your power. Your word in your tongue is powerful. The way you speak to yourself, the way everything is pushed through within and out. So if you feel like you're tripping, it's okay. But you can check yourself, check your vibe, and tap into more of the law of attraction, law of assumption. And just remembering that this journey is something that we are all in a wild, wild ride. But we will make it to the other side, all right? What's the next card? Well, what's under the Devil's card? Ooh, the Knight of Wands. So very fast-paced movement and action that feels really connected to that passion. You know what I'm saying? And it's running towards the fulfillment and security and self and that mature, grown aspect of who you are and not tripping. So what's under the Magician here? The hangman is under the magician. I, th this is pretty beautiful. I know people might think, oh, the magician is such a boring negative card. And it's not. All right. Listen, the hangman, seeing things from a different lens and perspective, right? Under the magician. Maybe you've been doing stuff that hasn't really provided any evidence or feedback of what it is you're manifesting as that magician energy. But this is telling you, take a moment to step back, look at things from a clear spiritual perspective of things and this can also indicate no movement or very little because you're taking the time to really reflect and see what the best direction is for you to take rather that is the relationship itself or the direction on how you put both of your guys's passion and fire and that double energy of bringing that together but if this person is playing games you got to realize it's your time to really see things from a spiritual level and realize is it really worth it for some of you that might resonate for some of you you're really just building something together but that's where i'm intuitively picking up on and i'm not trying to just make it all about a love reading here but 
I'm also just getting at the moment, you're definitely planning to make sure that you take the right decision forward. And you have the Ace of Wands right here at the bottom of the deck. So it's definitely, let me, oh, the Queen of Pentacles. I was going to ask for another card, but the Queen of Pentacles came out. So holding the value and the understanding of that pentacle and being the embodiment of what it is you're choosing to do that is on a spiritual level to ascend or it's a loop that you're like trying to overcome and pass the test okay but what's the spiritual advice here what's the spiritual advice for aries two of swords wow you definitely see the truth don't play yourself don't try to play yourself especially in the times we're in sagittarius season you do not want to get washed up under the current and smack the fuck to sleep even more if you are but you don't want to go to that you gotta accept the truth and uh allow yourself to really navigate these waters okay and if this is relating to you that resonate that the energy of wanting to part ways or losing that spark and it's time to move on then i feel like you know on confirmation if you're in that energy and, and that's where it resonates but for me i wasn't really seeing it as a negative context to the relationship i just feel like if there's someone playing games and not communicating enough it has something has to be said and worked through in order to continue going on this journey together but i i really I, intuition is telling me it's not really that i feel like you're just trying to level up with this person even more on what it is you're creating and that passion and sex is there but if it's all sex then that's where you got to realize that the magician you are you manifested this how do you get the fuck out okay i was all over the place but yeah you do have the lover's card under here so two of swords for those who are going to leave and take the exit route, you're definitely coming into the potential of manifesting your actual lover card energy of your person, your twin flame, your soulmate, whatever it is you want to call it. But I'm get, I'm feeling more for Aries. You're finding that spark back if it's been lost and redirecting yourself and building off of it together and individually to better and evolutionize the way you go about your mission and your journey is what I'm really picking up. So that's all I have for you, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I do apologize if that was a little confusing, but I was just reading from the card, but my intuition was telling me not all Aries are really taking that in a negative aspect. It's not really negative, but experiencing the difficulties. But you know the answers. If you don't, ask yourself and ask the divine, ask the source, really reflect and meditate. And you will come to the messages overall here on what it is you have to do. All right. That's all I have for you, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venuses. I appreciate y'all from the bottom of my heart. And I'll see you for Taurus coming up next. Peace.